Les haricots cuits au four. Des haricots cuits au feu. Des haricots cuits au four. Crips sous air. Crips sous air. Crips sous air. Un demi-tasse. Un demi-tasse. Demi Merci, madame. Merci, madame. Speaking of trains, we'll probably all drop dead when we see that chest. <laughs> Nothing's too good for you, my darling. Besides, on Monday we'll all be back at work at the laundry. Yes, our dear old wash quick laundry. And on our regular diet of baked beans. Oh, don't remind me of now. Now, girls, this is a great surprise. What is it? The haricot cuit au feu. Oh, the pins, madame. Oh. 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 Is everything wrong? Oh, no, 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 no. No, it's just what I've been longing for. It's perfectly delightful. Oh, thank oh, it's you. it's just too, too magnificent. Thank you. Thank you. Twenty-eight sixteen. We can't pay it. I knew we'd end up washing these dishes. girls are going to meet some important men if I have to go so far as to give them the glad eye myself. Why, Auntie! There's a prospect. Get busy. Hello, Hello. Fun. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> nice weather we're having, don't you think? So what? Waiting on? Oh, oh, come on, beautiful. That's right. Sit up. Well, I'm doing all I can. I, I'm so sorry to cause you this annoyance. It's only just one of my fainting spells. There's no, no annoyance at all. Lady. Oh, thank you. What's the idea? Well, it makes me feel terrible to see women faint. There, just take it easy. Do you feel better now? Yes, thank you. I think you'd better just sit here a moment and relax. Well, I, I will, if you don't mind. You know, these resorts tire one, so... Uh, are you boys stopping here? No, we just uh, flew down for the polo game. Yeah. Oh, do you play? Uh, he does. I take to the air. How interesting. Have you seen the lovely view out there? No. You? Boys must meet my two granddaughters, Carol and Dorothy. Mr. Uh, uh, DePeister's the name. Oh. I'm Bunny DePeister the third, and this is Mr. Hopping D. Hopping Jr. How do you do? How do you do? Uh, the girls have just returned from finishing school in southern France. Oh. And yeah, we finished flat work. <coughs> <laughs> Carol's always clowning. <laughs> well, I'll be off. <laughs> 
Uh, no doubt you uh, young folks would like to be together. Uh, you know there's a dance here tonight. I'm sure the girls will save you each one. I'll be away for a week, Quigley. During my absence, I want my boat kept in perfect condition from stem to stern. Yes, sir. And no visitors. Do you understand? Uh, yes, sir. And I want perfect discipline kept aboard that boat, or I'll hire a new captain. Yes, Mr. Harrington. Uh, would you kindly ask the doorman there to get me a taxi? Why, uh, he's not the doorman. He's a yacht captain. Oh, why, of course. I know that. He's the captain of my yacht. What I meant to say was the man at the door. Oh, never mind about the taxi. I'll go upstairs. Uh, come, girls. We must get dressed. Bye. Bye. Gee, old man Harrington's mother. Yeah, and has he got a couple of swell daughters? Well, Captain Quigley, you better be on your toes. Mr. Harrington's mother's here. Where? Right over there. There she goes with her two granddaughters. Well, oh, Mrs. Harrington. Oh, dear. This is indeed a pleasure. I am Captain Quigley. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Of course. Your son has spoken of you so much, I really feel that I know you, although we've never met. Oh, yes, Captain. Uh, we haven't met before because I've been with the girls in France so many times the last few months. I, I mean, years. Oh, yes. How am I doing, eh? You all do six months. Well, that's better than the laundry. Laundry? Oh, yes, the, uh, the starch, uh... Well, you say she means the... Uh, the sheets in this hotel are entirely too rough. They've been bruising the girls ever since we've been here. Oh, you must make your home aboard the yacht while you're here. Oh, but I... Oh, your son would want you to. I insist. What's this? Why, it's someone's bag. <gasps> oh, frog! Frog! <laughs> I, I've changed my mind, Captain. I, I will join you. Uh, come, girls. We need the air. The owner's mother's coming aboard. Get everything ship shape and have the deck scrubbed. Aye, aye, sir. Get the deck scrubbed immediately. Aye, aye, sir. Hey, get the deck scrubbed. Aye, aye, sir. Hey, get the deck scrubbed. Aye, aye, sir. Come on, you monkeys, get busy and scrub these decks. Aye, aye, aye sir. Come on, will you? Make it snappy. Coming right out. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, me. Come on. Snap yes, in with it. Yes, sir. This canoe sure gets dirty. Clear yes, it. What's the idea of those engine room swabbers being ashore and lounging around the hotel lobby? It's a disgrace to the discipline of this ship. I uh, gave them shore leave, sir. Well, don't let it happen again, or I'll get a new first mate. Aye, aye, sir. about tonight? I'm giving a party there, in honor of you boys. Oh, that's fine. I love yachts. Yeah, me too. Uh, Mrs. Harrington? Uh, yes. Well, the tender's waiting. Oh, then we'll come aboard at once. Uh, will you take the baggage? Yes, ma'am.
That's right, children. Go along and enjoy yourselves. Miss Harrington, your party is being such a success. It's simply magnificent. Oh, it's nothing at all. Just a simple way of passing an evening. I can't imagine what's become of Mr. De Peister. Yes, that is strange. He disappeared the moment we got on the boat. Well, you girls had better go and look for them. It's such a wonderful night for romance. That's an idea, Auntie. That's the way I feel, too. I'm so glad, dear. A big opportunity to marry into the right set. Yeah, and here we sit. Well, I'm going to get out of here. That's too big a chance to lose. Of course, Mrs. Harrington. Anything I can do, Mrs. Harrington. The two guests of honor disappeared as soon as we came aboard. Mr. Hopping D. Hopping Jr. and Mr. Bunny de Peister the third. Oh, I'll find them immediately. Nothing is too much trouble for Captain Quigley. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh... How did you birds get out? Oh, oh, oh. That's what I call cooperation. Oh, Mr. D. Hopping. Grandmother's been looking all over for you and Mr. De Peister. Oh, uh, all right, Miss Harrington. We'll join you immediately. I'm saving those dances for you, Mr. De Peister. Oh, that's fine. We'll see you later. Uh, I'm sorry, boys. I had no idea who you were. Oh, we just think you were from below deck. Well, you know, I always liked you two boys. Now, if you can only overlook the... That's okay, Captain. Just think nothing about it. Well, it'll never happen again. Now, a little word from you two boys to Mrs. Harrington won't hurt me a bit. Well, uh, that depends on what kind of service you give us tonight. Isn't the moon beautiful tonight? Yes, it sure is. How about a little kiss? I say, would you give me a kiss? What's the matter, are you deaf? What's the matter, are you paralyzed? Well, is there anything I can do for you people? Uh, perhaps some tea and cakes? There's nothing like good old tea and cakes to keep a party alive. Right, sir, coming right up. Doesn't the moonlight and water and the swaying of the boat make you love sick? Uh-uh. Makes me seasick. <sighs> but doesn't the moonlight just do something to you? Uh-huh. If that makes you go crazy. That's it. Crazy for love. What does this mean? 
Didn't I tell you no one was to come aboard this boat during my absence? But, Mr. Harrington, it's your mother and two daughters. They're having a party. Oh, my mother and my two daughters, eh? Yes, sir. I'll take you to them. No, never mind. I'll surprise them. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> well, now, you two young people run away and dance. You know, you must make hay while the sun shines. <laughs> All right, Mr. Harrington. Beautiful boat you have here. Oh, this is only one of our smaller boats. Sort of weekday boats, as twere. Oh. You should see our Sunday boat. Oh, that's a great big thing. Indeed. <laughs> hello, yeah. hello. Oh, look. There's your father. Oh, do you know our father? Do we know him? Well, how very interesting. So, John Harrington is your son, eh? Yes. You know, I've heard a great deal about him. Are you expecting him on board? Oh, no, no, he won't be here tonight. He's probably gadding about. <laughs> Between you and me, he's a little bit wild. Sort of black sheep of the family. Why, you don't mean it. Yes. The poor boy had every opportunity, but drink got the better of him. Uh, would you care to look over the boat? Well, I'm sure I'd be delighted. We've got to tell her this is his boat. Now, uh, this is my private cabin. Uh, won't you come in? Well, that's very kind of you, I'm sure. Please do. Yes, and... Uh, now, oh, this is a photograph of my son at an early age. Is that so? Oh, yes, indeed. And over here... Now, this is a picture of my dear dead grandfather. Oh, what a romantic figure he was. You see, I come naturally by my love for boats. And this? What a resemblance. It, it, it looks like you. Well, what a coincidence, madam. That picture is me. What's the meaning of this, you idiot? But Mr. Harrington, your daughter. Daughters? Why, oh, you must have found it, nitwit. I'm a bachelor. Old father. You mean to say they're not your daughters and she's not your mother? Why, no. I never saw them before. So? Oh! oh. oh if I could just get my hands on those two. Hey, you! Just when we had a chance to marry into big money. That old walrus Harrington would have to come along and ruin everything. And the worst of it is we spent all of Auntie's money. <laughs> it only took me 30 years to save it. Easy come, easy go. Hurry and get those bundles ready for delivery. Well, come on, you monkeys. Go on to the job, get busy. Carol. 